Reporting, I'm Frank Buckley, ahead of tonight's uh, final presidential debate. It was former President Obama on the campaign trail criticizing President Trump and the president jabbing back. We'll tell you what was said. And good morning, everyone. I'm Wendy Birch, live in Costa Mesa, where street racing has claimed the life of a person. The investigation is still ongoing, but investigators have growing concern that street racing is becoming even a bigger problem during the pandemic. We'll show you much more coming up in my live report. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes, LA County, relaxing more COVID-19 rules that allow more students to return to school and changes how some businesses can operate. We'll explain. Hi there, I'm Sam Rubin of the Entertainment Center. You might recall the story of the married actor uh, taking a trip to Rome with the uh, unmarried actress and some shenanigans. Well, there's new problems now with Italian legal transportation authorities. We will explain that and we'll attempt to explain this. Terrence Howard sues the producers of Empire. He says they're using uh, his image in an unauthorized way. We'll talk about it coming up. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.01. Uh, I'm in uh, Henry DiCarlo in for Mark Frisky this morning. Looks like the clouds are back once again. That was to be expected. A little bit of a, a light mist out there in some spots. Uh, it's hit or miss. Temperature is 70s, maybe a few low 80s into some of our inland valleys. But the cool down continues right through the weekend. And ginger sodas, the chance of rain increasing on Sunday night into Monday, maybe measurable rain. I'll tell you about that in just a few moments. Yeah, and I think that little bit of drizzle that you're talking about is a big deal for some people, depending on where you are. And I think some people can be caught off guard just a tiny bit. Now, we do have a situation that is kind of like a water-related, I guess, but not so much from Mother Nature. This is a look, first of all, at our Caltrans camera of the 101. Shows us both directions. In Gower Street, usually the northbound side to the right isn't this busy, but we know up ahead of it, the Highland Avenue off-ramp closed. The closure is all related to a water main break. I believe it was about a 12-inch line that ended up breaking. Not a lot of customers have been impacted by it. That's the good news. But in terms of your drive, Cahuenga and Odin closed, and the closure could go until 5 this afternoon. 60 West, right about Soto Street, they're talking about a brand-new crash that's in lanes, and this one involving at least maybe some injuries. A real slow ride here. We'll keep track of all these things for everybody on this Thursday. Jess, right back to you. Thanks, Ginger. We begin with uh, breaking news out of Orange County, where one person is dead, another person has been injured in a pair of street racing incidents. Investigators now say the two separate incidents are related. KTLA's Wendy Birch live in Costa Mesa with the latest for us. Wendy, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Yes, we'll be speaking about that other street racing incident in Anaheim in a moment. But first of all, here we are in Costa Mesa. Uh, I'm going to step aside and let you actually see the scene as the crime scene investigators are still here on the scene. The coroner has yet to arrive. That's why you see that tarp in front of what we now know is a Chevy pickup, a pickup that overturned, killing one of the passengers. Now, we know that someone else in that vehicle was also transported to an area hospital here. We don't know the condition of the other person that was in that Ford pickup truck, but we can tell you that the driver has been arrested within the last couple of hours. The driver was taken into custody in connection with this, and we can also tell you here on the scene that within the last hour, one other person has been taken into custody. Uh, the potential charge would be accessory to uh, the death of this person involved in all of this. Now, all we know about this, and Sky 5 was overhead shortly after uh, the 5 o'clock hour, just, we can just know that there was a street race going on here in the very early morning hours. Somehow this truck was involved, it flipped over, and then of course this person lost their life. Now this was not the only street racing incident overnight. The other one took place in Anaheim very early this morning, uh, probably around 12.30 a.m. That's when there were about 100 